Andrei Kerpers of the European Astronaut Corps is currently training at Star City near Moscow for his upcoming mission. ESA's fourth long-duration stay on board the International Space Station. It'll be his second space flight in a Russian Soyuz module. But the Dutch astronaut has had to prepare for a whole new set of experiences. Construction of the space station has been finished since his previous visit in 2004, and the modernized Soyuz is significantly different. The Soyuz is, in principle, an old spacecraft. That is to say, the base is, is still there, and uh, from the outside it looks more or less the same. Uh, but of course, inside there has been some updates, new computers, new, new screens, new displays and a new dashboard. And of course, things function a bit differently. So that means that some things that I learned in the past I don't have to do anymore and there are new things that I now have to do. Uh, so uh, it's nice, it's, uh, it's a challenge of course to learn to fly uh, an updated uh, spacecraft. Kuipers will have to be ready to take over from the Soyuz commander to dock or land the spacecraft in the case of an emergency. At Star City, high-tech simulators are used to teach these skills, where instructors can recreate the rigors of spaceflight in a controlled environment. They try to simulate as much as possible uh, the real flight. Uh, yeah, some things you cannot simulate in a, in a fixed base simulator, like uh, you cannot simulate the, the, the acceleration forces of the deceleration forces, so G. Therefore you need the centrifuge. The centrifuge creates the G forces, the deceleration forces, and it's connected to the computer. So you fly the Soyuz and the computer is calculating how, how you do. If you go too steep, you get more g-forces, more deceleration, and then the centrifuge starts to rotate faster. So it's a pretty realistic training uh, in that sense. Kuipers has undergone training with each of the International Space Station partners in readiness for the mission, using mock-ups of the different modules, which will be his home for around six months. There's a huge range of equipment to become familiar with, and, just like in orbit, every chance that an emergency can happen when least expected. It's very well simulated. We really use real masks. They really put smoke in, in, uh, in the capsule. A lot of the emergency is checking procedures, for example, of checking you do everything according to procedures. But now we also have these, the other effects that you can hardly see, you can hardly breathe, uh, and it's very warm because you don't have ventilation. Uh, and uh, it's a very good simulation. Sometimes even the procedures have to be changed. Sometimes we, we discover that there is something which is not correct, you know, and so it's a, it's a good process. So we, uh, uh, we get more and more prepared uh, for things that hopefully don't happen. <laughs> There's no doubt that a long duration stay in orbit will be challenging, even for an experienced astronaut such as Andre Kerpers. Though long and arduous, every moment of his training at Star City and the other space institutions will be worth it, once he lifts off from Baikonur to live on board the space station. <laughs>